we start playing with uh, some traditional songs that we have and some traditional readings. We record here something and we start to work morph the things to do the Frankenstein and we are there. <laughs> we are <singing. laughs> Could you talk a bit uh, about how specifically you brought Galician traditional folk music to these tools? I mean, were you starting with, did you get a new training database where you said, okay, we ran, you know, these 100, 1,000 songs, mm -hmm. you know, in, was it more based on the instruments? Is it really just purely your own compositions and your own familiarity with Galician music? Like where did, the, how did that come into this process? try to sense this uh, artistic residency as experiment too. So after five days, we have an experiment of how can applicate the AI in Galician traditional music. And then we have some results, interesting results that maybe can be used in a, in a future entry to the next AI song contest. We are organizing in groups of two or three we are dividing uh, some tasks and testing all the Sony apps. We are extremely curious to see what you're going to do with them. We too. <laughs> <laughs> you have access to every, everything that is in this room to have fun and to make great music. So welcome. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. process I've been, been speaking to other Galician traditional mu music practitioners um, you know in the community like how's, how's the general response reaction to the fact that you're working with such tools or are they very different kind of almost you know dividing opinions on like yeah is mm -hmm. should this be part of our you know our cultural heritage our, our tradition uh, is this helping in our context uh, yeah, people is much more afraid about this yeah, than yeah, maybe yeah. in other uh, context yes. maybe because it's a, a specific point of, of view yeah mm -hmm. innovation yeah. can helps to keep alive mm -hmm. the tradition so in this sense uh, ai could helps um, being a guarantee of the galician language and culture uh, being alive what is special about galician music like is there a special aspect that is more that makes it better for uh, yeah, for yeah, this yeah. project, yeah. for example. Yeah, oral transmission. And uh, nowadays, it is still happening this this way of, of communicate the melodies and the and all the songs. And I think it it is really beautiful because every person that songs, uh, it's going to sing that song in any way different mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. before. traditional vocals in, in Galician traditional music, the um, women traditionally uh, sing uh, like this. How do you think that would impact your creativity if if the models did did sort of speak the Galician language better? More easy to work, but it may be less interesting. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
they have a lot of possibilities. Mm. Not only the one for they were designed. As all the musical tools, mm -hmm. I mean, the distortion pedal mm -hmm. uh, is a pedal that still today has new ways of being used. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm sure that maybe one of these tools in 20 years it will be used in a different way. We get like an interesting transition between jazz and classical music. We think that maybe these unexpected results could be the interesting point of the AI. It's interesting to use these tools as a help to, to change our creative process. We are steered to, to think out of the box, out of our traditional workflow and get new ways of doing things and new palettes of sounds and we want we want to explore that. We were thinking a lot about putting a new pump at uh, the first pump album this week. Uh, maybe change some things in in that direction yes. yeah, because so. now we know how to work between between us and I think that will happen. This is the first time we could meet and together and, uh, together and for working yes. and with IA. <laughs> I like to work here. It was really fun for me because we we feel very free to do whatever. I learn a lot of things here, so this is the best thing for me. And be with you, of course, but. <laughs>